I always wanted Blood and Bone to be as real as possible, so that's why I used real fighters. The whole story behind the Kimbo Slice video was when we were on set during the jailhouse scene, I told Kimbo that once I started my countdown to try to stab me with the rubber knife as fast as he could so it would look real. What I was going to do is I was going to punch by his face, then take the knife from him and stick him in the shoulder with it before he could finish the punch. See, Kimbo, like most fighters, make the mistake of indicating that their bodies before they strike. Since I don't do this, it kind of freaked him out because he said he could never see my punches coming. Sometimes the camera guy couldn't see the punch either. It's right here. See, Kimbo needed to react like he's being punched, but he claimed he couldn't see it. I needed to slow it up and punch closer to his face so he could see it and finally react like he's being punched. But this time I punched a little too close and it nipped him in the nose. My bad, but he still never reacted to the punch until after he felt it. Right here, I still told him to try to touch me with his hand as fast as he could, but to react to the punch to his face. We kept telling him to react to the punch, but it was freaking him out because he said he just couldn't see it. He asked me how I was doing this, and I promised to teach him later. And that's what led to the famous video. I explained to him that the concept was basically technique, well, untelegraphed technique, but when you add speed on top of it, that this was the result. I told Kimbo I'd teach him some pointers, the same way I've done with a lot of champions in the past. So me and my training partner, Amani, who played Big Lamont in the movie, uh, agreed to train him. But Kimbo became a little too frustrated with the process. He was still a little too freaked out and felt dominated, and sometimes that messes with a fighter's psyche. For me, I, I always loved to learn something new, even if it meant getting my ass kicked, because it made me better. I wasn't there to kick anybody's ass. I was there to share. But some fighters are just too uncomfortable with new things, even if it's proven to work. Believe me, I've run into a lot of this in the past. I don't get it. You show me something that works, I'm going to use it. By the way, shout out to Billy Blanks right now. Because back in 92 or 93, me and Billy Blanks were sparring around. We were just clowning around. And Billy Blanks swept me in the air and backfisted me before I hit the ground. It was so funny that I never forgot it. And I always said I wanted to put that in a movie. And this technique right here where I sweep the guy and hit him while he's in the air is a tribute to what Billy Blanks did to me back in 92 or 93. <laughs>